Hey, what's up guys? It's PG Tech here with another PC build. This time we're going with a pink build just in time for Valentine's Day. This is the pink Thermaltake HT200 case and I'm super excited to build in this. This is super different from all the other builds that I've been doing recently. It's giving like sports car, helicopter, super edgy, but it's still really pretty and I really like the shade of pink. I'm in love with pastel pinks and it's not the easiest color to get right, but I think this one looks great. And I even painted a GPU to match this. So I painted the EVGA 2070 Super and it fits perfectly in this case. This case supports up to an MATX motherboard, but today we have the Aorus Z690i paired with the Intel 12700K. So I've also got four Lian Li SL140 V2s. So these are the new ones. And then we've also got the Kraken Z53. So we've got one screen on the AIO and then another screen at the bottom to kind of hide the cables. Let's get into it. All right, first things first, I have this Linus Tech Tips screwdriver kit that I'm super excited about. It comes with a couple of bits already. They're all magnetic, which makes it super easy to build, especially when you have long nails and it sounds so satisfying. Here I'm installing the bracket that holds the cooler onto the motherboard. This is the Thermaltake Tough Ram. I don't know why it gets like scuffed and like yucky, but I was able to wipe it off with some rubbing alcohol. For storage, I'm using the Crucial P3 Plus 1TB SSD. I think this is the best value SSD, so I just buy it for all my builds. All right, pause. Before you install the motherboard, you're gonna want to pull the CPU cable through this little gap in the case, because you're not gonna be able to do it once the motherboard is installed. To install the AIO for this case, you need to first remove the front panel. There are three screws holding it on each side, and then you can remove the bracket that the AIO actually sits on. And now this bracket can come out. When you install the fans onto the radiator, make sure the bracket is facing the right way because there is a right and a wrong way. So I ended up putting the MCXT fans on the top of the case and then I used the Lianli 140s on both sides of the radiator. So here are the 140. The nice thing about these fans is that they just snap together so you only need one cable per set of fans which makes cable management so much easier. So this cable has the PWM control as well as the RGB control and then I ended up needing an RGB splitter since I had two sets and the motherboard only had one RGB 5 volt header. Here I am plugging in all the cables to control the LCD and the pump for the AIO. It ended up being a super tight fit, so I had to remove the micro USB cable and remove the SSD heatsink and the RAM in order to plug it in, and then it fit perfectly. The case looks so empty with just the motherboard, but trust the process. I ended up using these Reaper cable extensions to make the cable management just a little bit prettier. And here's that 2070 Super with the pink painted backplate. I think the pink matches perfectly. There are actually no vents on the bottom of this case, so normally you would have the PSU fan facing the bottom, but in this case, I have it facing up. The back panel is also clear, so this is the most cable management I've ever done in my entire life. We're watching it sped up, but trust me, I almost lost my mind during this process.
I wanted to hide some of the cables at the bottom, so I'm installing this LCD screen. It's powered by a micro USB to USB cable and then plugs into the GPU using a mini HDMI to HDMI. It has five brightness settings and just shows up as another monitor on your system so you can use it for wallpaper engine or to display stats. And here's the finished build. I love how this turned out. I think the RGBs look great. Here's some of the different gifts that I tried on the Kraken cooler with the RGB set to pink. And here's the cable management on the back. I'm pretty proud of it still. And here's the PC in a pink Valentine's Day inspired setup. Let me know what you guys think of this build in the comments and be sure to subscribe for more aesthetic PC builds.